Hey guys, today we will learn about toxicology. Toxicology is the study of adverse effects of chemical, physical, or biological agents on living organisms. Toxicants is the substance that produces adverse biological effects of any nature. Poison is the toxicants that cause immediate death or illness when experienced in very small amount. Toxic substances can be divided into two categories, which is systemic toxin and organ toxin. Systemic toxin which affects the entire body or multiple organs, whereas organ toxin only targets specific tissues or organs. There are a few types of systemic toxicity. Acute toxicity, which is a single dose received within less than 24 hours. Subchronic toxicity, which is a repeated exposure for several weeks or months, and is known as the common exposure pattern for some environmental agents. Chronic toxicity is the result of long-term exposure, like chronic bronchitis in long-term smokers. Next is developmental toxicity, which is adverse effects that relates to the developing embryo or fetus. Genetic toxicity which likely involves damage to DNA and altered genetic expression. Lastly is carcinogenicity, which involves growth of cancer cells. Organ-specific toxic effects can be divided into few types as well. Let's go one by one briefly. So the first one is blood or cardiovascular toxicity, which results from xenobiotics acting directly on cells, in circulating blood, bone marrow, and heart. Dermal or ocular toxicity. This is result from direct contact or internal distribution to the skin or eye. Effects range differently and could be from mild to severe irritation. Genetic toxicity is likely the same as been mentioned in systemic toxic effects. Hepatotoxicity is related to toxicity to the liver, bile duct, and gallbladder. Immunotoxicity, which relates to the immune system. Neurotoxicity represents toxicant damage to cells of the central nervous system, which is mainly the brain and spinal cord, and peripheral nervous system, which is the nerves outside the central nervous system. Reproductive toxicity involves toxicant damage to either the male or female reproductive system. And last is the respiratory toxicity, which relates to the effects of the respiratory system one of the common herd types of respiratory toxicity is lung cancer. There are four factors in determining adverse effects which are intrinsic toxicity, dose, exposure conditions, and response of host. The intrinsic toxicity depends on the physical properties such as size, surface, and structure, and chemical properties such as molecular structure, solubility, and stability. Dose-response relationship Dose is the amount of a substance administered at one time. Dose-response relationship is the most fundamental and progressive concept in toxicology. It correlates exposures with changes in body functions or health. The higher the dose, the more severe the response is. The slope of the dose-response curve indicates the change in the percent of the population responding as the dose increases. A sharp increase in the slope indicates that as the dose increases, there are increasingly higher risks of toxic responses. Threshold dose level is the point at which toxicity first appears, and from that point, the curve increases with higher dose levels. Effective dose indicates the effectiveness of a substance. Normally, it refers to a beneficial effect. Relief of pain, it may stand for a harmful effect. Thus, the specific endpoint must be indicated. Toxic dose indicates dose that can cause adverse toxic effect. For some substances, a small increase in dose causes a large increase in response, which is seen in toxic and stick loop. For other substances, a much larger increase in dose is required to cause the same increase in response, as indicated in toxic B swallow loop. The next factor is exposure conditions, which consist of routes of exposure, frequency and duration of exposure, mixed exposure, and environmental circumstances. But we will focus on the mixed exposure only. Mixed exposure may produce acute or chronic effects. Exposures to mixed stresses can produce health consequences that are additive and synergistic from individual exposures. Additive effect occurs when combined effect of two or more chemicals is equal to the sum of the effect of each agent given alone. 
while synergistic effect caused when exposed to two or more chemicals at one time results in health effects that are greater than the sum of the individual chemical effects. The last factor is response of host, which related to metabolism. Metabolism may result in either detoxification or bioactivation. Generally, detoxification converts lipid-soluble compounds to polar compounds. Conversely, bioactivation is the process where enzymes acquire the ability to perform their biological function. That's all from us. Thank you.